right. Hey, Castaways. Thank you for listening. We have a awesome treat for you guys today. We are here with John Klein, the owner of White Bay Villas on Yost Van Dyke in the beautiful BVI. How's it going, John? It's going great. It's a beautiful day in paradise. I can see uh, some banana trees, White Bay, some blue skies behind you. It, it doesn't look too bad. The weather here is just always amazingly perfect. Uh, once in a while, we get some rain. We have a few exciting times once in a while in the summer. But other than that, this is the best weather on the planet. Yep, you got to have a little rain to keep paradise green. We always call it liquid sunshine. We believe in that. We call it liquid sunshine. It's, sometimes we just call it blessings. <laughs> That's right. All right, well, let's jump into what we have going on today. So tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, how you came to be the owner of White Bay Villas, and uh, just kind of tell us your story. Well, I'll try to keep it brief. Um, <laughs> I knew from the time I was a, a little kid that I always wanted to live in the tropics. Uh, I grew up in Philadelphia and always cried when the summer ended. And when I was uh, five years old, I was on a trip to Florida, took an overnight train uh, and uh, stayed uh, Christmas day many decades ago with an aunt and uncle that were uh, in uh, Miami area. And uh, early that morning, I got to swim in the ocean and it was 80 degrees in Miami. When I left Philadelphia the day before, it was 20 degrees. And I thought, geez, this is a miracle. There's actually a warm place on earth and all I needed to do was get on a train. So I was fixated with that thought from the time I was little. So I knew I was gonna live in the tropics somewhere. I just didn't know where it was. I, and I then, think we're a lot alike. I, I moved down from Kansas when I was, uh, I think 25, and it was cold all the time in the winter. And I just knew I wanted to live where people vacation. Yeah, to me, it wasn't even about vacation. I just wanna go where it was warm. Right. Uh, I, 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 I was always miserable in cold weather. So I discovered, I started looking around uh, as I was a teenager and went in and out of the military. At this point, now I'm in university and uh, going to school in Philadelphia and got turned on to the idea of uh, coming to the British Virgin Islands. So came down to the British Virgin Islands way back in the earlier 70s. And I fell in love with Joe Van Dyke and I had a spiritual feeling when I was here that someday I would live here. And that someday came about. So few years later, I was able to buy some land, got the right to occupy what was uh, then what I purchased the first piece, which was three acres way back then, and started building a house in Joe Van Dyke. Never dreamed I'd be in the villa rental business. Uh, just basically wanted to build a house on an island that at that point was considered pretty remote, which I guess it was because there was no electricity, there was no water, no phones. Wow. Uh, there was uh, no regular ferry service to get here. so. I bought the land and I sailed my sailboat down not long after and lived on the boat and built a house and, and uh, finished the first house about 40 years ago and never really thought, like I said, I'd be in the villa rental business, but things changed over time. Things morphed over time. And uh, now, with, now we've got White Bay Villas and uh, with an eye on the future, trying to turn this into a small, completely sustainable village and what we have here. Well, that, that's awesome. I, I think there's a lot of people out there who have the exact same, you know, dream and aspirations. And it's really cool to hear, you know, you had the same start as a lot of people dream of, and then you actually made it happen, you know, sailing down there, living on your boat, finding that land. And it's, it's really cool to see stuff like that happen. So congratulations, man. Thank you. I, look, I'm a lucky man every day. I, I get to live the dream. I get to live the adventure. But you always have to remember that, you know, one man's dream is the next man's nightmare. So, uh, you know, I, I, I came down here as, as a pioneer. And, you know, people have to recognize that when, you, when the pioneers went out west, they discovered many new things. They discovered beautiful things. They discovered people they hadn't seen before, places no one had seen before, species no one had seen before. They also got arrows in their backs too. <laughs> right. So anytime you come to a place as a pioneer, you gotta be prepared for all that. Uh, but I've been here a long time now. I'm pretty well woven into the fabric of this island and in the British Virgin Islands. That's awesome. Great story, man. 
So tell us a little bit about White Bay Villas. You know, where are they? I, I know where they are, but to our audience who might not know where they are, I know that you guys are prime real estate that look over one of the most beautiful bays in all the Caribbean, I think. So give us a little background on White Bay Villas and, and what makes them so special. Okay. Uh, so White Bay Villas is located on White Bay, uh, which is considered one of the 10 best beaches in the world. It's at the western end of Joe's Van Dyke, the main settlement in Joe's Van Dyke being Great Harbor. And White Bay uh, Villas, it sits on uh, 18 acres up on the hillside, and we have a, a couple of acres down on the beach as well. We've got a, a couple thousand feet of waterfront, and we have everything from the first house that I built, which at that point was just sort of John's house, and now we named it over time, and now we call it the Plantation Villa. And it's five bedrooms and five bathrooms. Uh, sits alone on a couple of acres. It's surrounded by banana trees, mango trees. We have papaya. We have sugar cane. We grow many things there. Awesome. Uh, uh, key limes, things like that. Uh, and then we morphed over time. We built uh, Sunset Villa East and West, which is on a point. Everything here is waterfront. But Sunset Villa East and West, is a, a two bedroom and one bathroom standalones. Again, they're perched out on a point. Then a few years later, we built the seaside cottages, which are one bedroom, one bathroom. They're kind of like tree houses. They're very natural with a little path that walks right down to the beach. Uh, then a few years after that, we built the hillside villas, which are two bedroom, two bathroom units. And they're perched in a hillside with incredible views of White Bay and the surrounding area. And then we just completed last year our new Paradise Villas, which are all one bedroom, one bathroom, standalone. Uh, we call them Paradise Villas because when you're there, you do feel like you're in paradise. <laughs> so the, the concept as we've grown and, and moved over time into other uh, areas uh, is basically when I say the areas, is to be able, be able to provide our guests with an opportunity to have one bedroom, a two bedroom, uh, three bedrooms. We also have the hideaway, which is what I'm living in right now. The hideaway is three bedrooms, two bathrooms, hideaway is per perched up in the bush, bush, and it, we call it hideaway because you have to walk up a path to get here. There's no road to get to hideaway. Cool. So I stay up here now with my two chocolate Labradors, and uh, I get to walk up here and have this incredible view, which if you'd like, I can try to hold the camera and show you the view from here. Just kind of a little cloud cover come over, but I can show you a little bit of White Bay now if you'd like to see that. Yeah, like, definitely show us. I want to give it my best shot here. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to do this on my iPhone, everybody. So uh, I will white bay. Uh, let me see what I can do. So I'm going to take the camera and turn this way. And hopefully you all can see. There it is, Castaways, White Bay. Can you see White Bay? Yeah, beautiful. So that's White Bay over there. And I'm trying to scan. It's a Friday afternoon. Lots of boats. Lots of boats. And I don't think I'm able to show you here at the eastern end of White Bay where we are now in the process of finishing our private beach club in White Bay. But uh, White Bay is a beautiful, clear water. There's still some good reef that's here on this end of the bay. We get frequented sometimes by these small cruise ships. Yep. You can see one that's out there. Um, off in the background, uh, I'm looking at St. Thomas right now. And as I scan this direction, you can see the roof lines here of that Sunset Villa East and West. And as I keep turning toward the east, there's a little cut that's there. It's probably a little foggy, not foggy, but a little rainy. In fact, there's some rain coming. And that's Tort Tortola in the background. And as we go over here to the left, uh, that's more of Tortola. I scan back this way, and that's St. John, which is behind uh, Thatch Island and Great Thatch Island, which is a, at the western end of Tortola. So uh, this is White Bay. You can see there's not much developed once you get above the bay. It's very green here in Joe's Van Dyke this time of year. Um, I'm actually showing you little bits of hideaway here, how beautiful. we're situated amongst. All right. So that was beautiful White Bay. Thanks for giving us a little tour of that, John. So, you know, I, I know a lot of people come there, you know, on day charters and on, you know, week long charter yachts and things like that. But for people who want to stay there on Yost and stay at White Bay Villas, what's 
you know, tell us what there is, you know, to do on White Bay and why actually staying on Yoast is such a different experience, such a special experience, I think, in my mind, than, you know, just coming for the day. Well, I'm glad you asked that question. I mean, to me, Joseph and Ike is really the last Virgin Island. We didn't get electricity to the whole island uh, until 1997. Wow. Uh, Public current wasn't turned on here until 1989, and that was just in Great Harbor. Uh, until that point, I had solar panels and storage batteries here in uh, fairly primitive technologies compared to the, the stuff that's out there today. So uh, as a result, the island developed very, very slowly over time. Uh, in fact, when I built uh, what I said before we call Plantation Villa, uh, there was no road to get to White Bay. So I literally brought in the heavy equipment to build the road to get to White Bay. Wow. which over the last years has been paved. Now we have electricity and we have water. We have a uh, line of sight telephone service. Uh, I'm sorry, line of sight uh, AT&T service you can pick up right here uh, to St. Thomas. We also have high-speed internet that's here. So uh, you know, the, the appeal of Joe's Van Dyke is that you feel like you're in kind of a remote spot, but actually you're 25 minutes from St. Thomas by boat, 15 minutes from Tortola by boat. And the island itself, uh, for the size of it, which is plus minus somewhere, depending on how you measure it, four, five, six square miles, there's only 300 full-time year-round residents. Right. So uh, it's a very special place. Agriculture is still important here. Many people grow things. We have very, very active fishermen that are here, so we always have fresh lobster, fresh snapper, grouper, mahi, tuna, various fish like that. Uh, it's a very community-oriented island. So everybody kind of knows everybody, and it is very small. And uh, most of the people that live on Joe Ike live in fairly concentrated areas. Not that it feels like it's high density, but right. most of the island is undeveloped. I mean, you know, literally probably 99% of the land here is undeveloped. So what Joe Ike has to offer is incredible beaches, a place that you can go hiking to your heart's content, uh, views that are absolutely to die for from so many different places that are on the island, a serenity that's here that you don't get anywhere else and a place that you feel truly uh, is undeveloped. And most of the island has been the same for many, many, many centuries. So you have the opportunity to have some of the best party bars in the world mm -hmm. and some of the best food in the world. You're going to get us here in Joseph and Ike and here at White Bay Villas. You can go back to your unit that night and have complete serenity. You watch sunrise, sunset. In fact, the moon is almost full right now. I was taking my dogs uh, swimming last night and you can practically read a newspaper on white Bay from how bright the moon is and with the reflection that comes off of the sand and comes off the water. Wow. So uh, what drew me to Joe Van Dyke years ago was the experience of being here. And what we're trying to do at white Bay Villas is give people the same kind of feeling of an experience of a destination that they'll get no other place. And you already know you're going to get something different when you get here because you have to come by boat. Right. Uh, there's, no, there's no air travel to get here. And when you're here, you look around, you see all these other islands. But when you're here, you, you've, 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 you have this feeling of uh, peacefulness, serenity, amazing smells. The air is crystal clear all the time. Uh, you'll hear wild goats from time to time. <laughs> uh, and it's extraordinarily safe. We're basically, we're crime free. So you get this exciting opportunity to meet people to come in and out of here that come on day trips. And yet when you stay at White Bay Villas, we've established a little bit of a, a community and people create their own sort of camaraderie with the people that are staying. So we've had people come and stay over the years that met here and they come back and they vacation every year in, in units that are uh, close proximity to each other. So it's really the best of all worlds. And we've also made it pet friendly. So once you decide you wanted to bring your pet here, all you have to do is get your pet to St. Thomas. And I say, all you have to do, it's not so easy. But we've made arrangements with the government that on 30 days notice, you can do the whole thing by uh, email to get your certification without quarantine. And instead of leaving your pet home, you can bring your pet here. That's uh, awesome. I, I know that Crystal, we, we have two cats and it's, it's hard to travel with them, but she always wants to bring them to the islands when we go. So I think next time we come uh, stay on Yost, we might have a couple cats in tow. <laughs> Well, I, I, I hope you do. I mean, I don't know how you heard cats. That's like an old bad expression. Uh, but, you know, pl please, please bring your cats. Uh, and one of the other things I wanted to mention is because we're so close to completion now is we're building our own beach club. 
And this is not going to be uh, a soggy dollar bar or a Hendo's or a Foxy's that attracts a lot of day boats. It's really primarily for our guests and invited guests. So we're, we're going to have farm to table food. We, we are in the middle of growing many things down at the beach club. Might even be worth a follow-up session with you, Ryan, if you'd like. And I'll give you a little tour of what we're doing there cool. because we're going to be completely sustainable. We put in a large solar installation. We're going to be uh, making our own breads and pastas and pizza. We're going to have our own wow. uh, wood-burning oven. It's, I think it might be the first wood-burning oven that's here in the Virgin Islands. Using local woods uh, to do things with the food. And we're going to do something really, really special. And the idea is to have people come to White Bay Villas and really give them a package of a destination. And of course, you can go to all the wonderful restaurants that are here and see all the sites, but we're going to make it easy for people. And that's the whole idea. Make it simple and give you the best service. Make sure we give you great quality and good value. So I'm trying to make sure that what we provide is the same things that I want to look for out there. And that's great value, great right. service, and a great product. No, that's, that's awesome. I can't wait to hear more about the Beach Club and, and see that get online. But you did mention something about food and like locally sourced food. I know that um, it's, you have to get there early, but like One Love has these lobster quesadillas and you have to get there early because once they're gone, they're gone and they are dynamite. And then I know that Hendo's has like, I was there when we were there, the beginning of December and they brought out a spread for us and it was just meal after meal after meal and it, it was just so so good it was like you're sitting there on the beach at a beach bar and you don't think you're gonna get like food that's just out of this world good so those were two of my favorite spots to get a bite to eat but you being a local like tell us some of your favorite places to eat so if i was staying at white bay villas and we wanted to go explore the island and get some food what do you recommend well, you put me on a spot. I mean, <laughs> there isn't there isn't any bad food here. All the food is great. All the food's good. Uh, it, 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 a lot depends on what you're looking for. You can go everywhere from the B-Line, which is you have to get there by boat, which is right. our little Joe Sand Ike. Uh, I'll you, take you from uh, uh, east to west. Then there's Taboo, which is sitting all the way at the eastern end of Joe Sand Ike. Then the little harbor Joe Sand Ike. You have Harris Place, which serves incredible lobsters and fresh fish. Sydney's Peace and Love Restaurant. Both of those have been there. They're, they're really institutions here. They've been here for many decades. Uh, we have Abe's by the Sea and Little Harbor. Then in Great Harbor, we have Foxy's Restaurant, which is world right. renowned. World and their famous. food, their barbecues on Friday nights are phenomenal. You have A&B Restaurant, which is a local restaurant with great food. Next door to that is Rose's, another local restaurant with great food. We have Alibaba's, again, a local restaurant, great food right on the beach. And then Corsairs, uh, which is a real phenomenon on its own, has great pizza, uh, a, a little bit more of an American slant to it, but all kind of food. Uh, I had recently there the tuna tartare, which was to die for, crab cakes, which were great. Uh, <laughs> then, then down at that corner of the beach in Great Harbor is also Rudy's Place, which mm -hmm. is now a great souprette, which they're stocking a lot of food. Uh, there's a, a little snack shop in Great Harbor called Jones. Then as you, uh, Joan is a J-O-A-N, not J-O-N-E-S, Jones. Uh, th then in White Bay, and now we'll go from, from west to east. Of course, you have Seti's One Love, uh, and you have already talked about Seti's. Coco Locos, which makes incredible food down there on the beach. Gertrude's, uh, which uh, makes amazing roadies, uh, along with lots of other food. Right. Of course, world-famous Soggy Dollar Bar has lots of different food stuffs on their own, an incredible show whenever you go down there. In fact, I think they have a live webcam if yep. your viewers want to check that out. And next to the Saga Dollar Bar is sort of the latest addition here in Joseph and Ike that's anything sizable, uh, and that's Hendo's, Hendo's Hideout, which has great food and on the beach. And, uh, and also in White Bay, on this side of White Bay where we are, is, is Ivan's uh, local flavor stress-free bar and restaurant. And they've got local food and drinks, and it's very low-key and on a beach. They're all great. And I think what we're going to be providing when we do the, the beach club is we're going to do something that's just very different. Uh, we're going to do something that's going to have a little bit of a Mediterranean slant to it. Like I cool. said, with homemade breads, pastas, uh, linguinis, Italian wine, a little bit of French wine, but very low key. Certainly no shirt, no shoes, no problem during the day. Cool. Uh, but we're going to meter it out so it's never going to feel real crowded. 
because we want to make sure that our guests understand that they're going to get a special experience there. So stay tuned to what we're doing. The Beach Club is going to be awesome. Uh, and you'll always be able to get a lounge chair. We're going to serve you a drink on the beach. Mm. Uh, we're going to hot showers. We're going to give you towels there. People will have their own little lockers to keep things down there. Cool. So you'll have a home away from home that's right down the hill here uh, on White Bay Beach that, that we're going to make sure is designed. We're designing it and building it primarily to have what is going to be hopefully just a, a unique experience for our guests and anyone else that comes. That's, that's awesome, man. And you just made me super, super hungry. I'm, I'm ready for some lobster quesadillas. <laughs> me too. <laughs> but um, I know a lot of people when they come down and stay in villas, you know, things like that. Some people don't want to go out and do the scene every single night and they want to kind of get that local feel. And so a lot of people will provision the villas. So can you tell us about how do people provision the villas or do you guys have a service that helps them do that? So I'm glad you asked that because I think, I think it's important for all your viewers to know that all of our villas have fully equipped kitchens. So if you want to spend a night, a week, a month, or the rest of your life, these are, long, these are built for long-term occupancy, okay. even though we have people come in and never use a kitchen. So we, and we're fully equipped. We have pots, pans, everything from scissors, knife sharpeners, cheese graters, all spices that you might need. So, and our, our water here is all drinkable water straight out of the tap. We make cool. sure of okay. that. So if you want to stay here and cook meals for yourself, for your family, for whomever, you can cook all your meals here. So they're all equipped with barbecues as well. If you want a provision, there's a number of services that are available. So what we do is we provide you with uh, a list and you check off what you want on the list and we uh, can either get it provided where it's sent over from Tortola and we actually provision and stock your unit for you. So everything you want is here at the time you get here. You can bring food if you want from St. Thomas. We actually have people that even sometimes pack coolers. In fact, we have a, a couple that's coming here soon. Uh, that likes to bring their own beef because they raise their own Angus beef in the States and they freeze it and they bring it down here. Okay. <laughs> so there's also provision that you could do here in Joe Sandite, but we can make it very easy for you. If you want your place provision, you just, we'll send you a list. You'll let us know what you want. We help you work that out with uh, supermarkets that are in Tortola. They send it over, you pay them. We get it to your unit and it's all provision up on the shelves and in the fridge by the time you get here. Oh, that's awesome. We, we did that one time on, in St. John and we got there a little late and there was no better feeling than walking into the villa and opening up the fridge and there's a whole bunch of beer and snacks and all you do is grab one and jump in the pool and don't have to worry about a thing. So I definitely recommend if you guys are staying there, uh, provision your, your villa and just relax. It, it's, it's such a great thing to not have to worry about. Yeah, I agree. You know, you're on vacation. Uh, I mean, our goal really as we are moving into more and more full service is we hope to be able to take care of you literally from the time you get off the plane in St. Thomas and we put you back on the plane. The way it is now, we do set up your transportation. We have a marine concierge. And once you've made your reservation, we help you arrange whether it's going to be what ferries you're going to take, what taxis or private taxis, water taxis, and we make sure that you get, we, you get to your villa, you get yourself settled in, and we help you with your uh, transportation on the way out as well. We help you with cheap rentals if you want or if you want to walk. Whatever it is, we're here to take care of you. We're here to give you amazing service is what we want to give. <laughs> That's awesome. You, you read my mind because my very next question was about transportation. Like, Do you guys you know, shuttle people in on your own water taxi or arrange the water taxis? Um, so, yeah, you read my mind. Thank you. <laughs> no, we, 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 we give you the options. We tell you what some of the costs are. So great. Yes. Yeah. So you guys take care of, you know, people getting there and take all that headache out. Cause I know, you know, traveling, a lot of people know that you probably have to fly into St. Thomas or either to Tortola on beef Island, but, and then take a water taxi over to Yo. So uh, sometimes, you know, that can be a headache, but anytime, you know, a, a property can remove some of that worry. It, it's definitely, helps the vacation get started a little bit earlier. Yeah, I, I agree. And, and in fact, something I'd like your viewers to know is that uh, we are in the process right now of coming up with a package. So if people want to spend a couple of days in St. Thomas and they want to spend a few days here, we're going to have both available. We have some waterfront units in St. Thomas that I built. Oh, wow. Uh, be, 
because we had people constantly struggling to figure out what if I get stuck in St. Thomas, my flight come in, comes in late. So we're putting together now what's going to be an offering. We're going to have a three bedroom, three bathroom waterfront house with a pool in St. Thomas uh, that's totally solar and off the grid. And we're going to have two one bedroom, one bathroom efficiencies that are there that are also right on the water that look straight down and you walk right down to a beach. So stay tuned for that. We're <laughs> going to offer those shortly. Awesome. Awesome. That, that's so cool. Well, like I am totally sold. Uh, we're actually coming back down in May. Uh, we're staying on St. John and I think we are going to do a day charter over to Yost. We're bringing my mother-in-law and her her uh, husband and who have never been to the Virgin Islands or the British Virgin Islands. So we're going to bring it over to Yost and we definitely want to come up and say hi. So it'd be great to meet you. Well, and you too in person. I mean, really give, give us the dates and we'll find a way to have you guys come and spend a night here. And hopefully we're going to be serving food at the beach club at that point. But yeah, once you stay in touch, we're going to get you handled. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, John. Well, um, tell everybody uh, how they can book with you guys and where they can learn more about you. So it's really easy, everybody. You go to jostvandyke.com. Very simple. And you can talk to our, our reservations and uh, guest relations person, uh, manager, who is uh, Lucy, who is very knowledgeable here. She lives here in the Virgin Islands, has lived in the Virgin Islands for decades. And you'll get a lot of information there. You can also get uh, from her, you get a lot of information from our website, again, at josephandike.com. And if you want to speak with someone, you can dial up to speak with her, or you can call us directly up here. And you can also book straight online. We have a booking engine that works pretty well. Okay. I think it works real well. Uh, <laughs> but any information that you, have, that you need, we have a frequently asked questions page. But never hesitate to just call us. Just call us. And the phone numbers are on the website. It, like I said, it's, it's easy to, to remember the, the name of the, uh, of the website because it is josephvandyke.com, and you're going to find us. Super, super simple. Well, John, I want to thank you so, so much for joining us today. You are our first interview. Uh, I know we had technical difficulties, what, two, three days ago, but I'm glad we got it worked out. I'm sorry Crystal couldn't be here today, but um, it's been a pleasure having you, and uh, thanks again for joining. And Ryan, thank, thanks for the opportunity, and I look forward to meeting you and Crystal and the rest of your family when you come down. Awesome. Thanks, John. Take care. Bye, everybody.